guys, we found a, a suitcase at the beach. Guys, we go. I'll hold your stuff. <laughs> 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 Wait, open it. <laughs> open it. <laughs> it stinks, y'all. It washed up. Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay, so she made. Okay, so she's calling the police so we can see if it's actually a dead body or it's just food. What do I? Found a suitcase on the beach and off the beach. Yeah, here's the crime scene. <laughs> A mortgage foreclosure inspection. Take a look at a house. It's got a little bit of damage on the inside, but it's from a prior claim, so there's not anything we can do. I come back around the house and I notice this a little window there. Okay, well, first, you know, the stairs, it's a lot, but uh, I was under the house in that crawl space right there. Well, that's where the crawl space ends. There is no opening into that. What does that go to? So this is my brother's room. This really like gross smell has always been in here. So we got a guy to kind of check it out. This is the side of my house. This is my brother's room. And basically the guy started in this really gross storage room. Um, and he found a hole in the wall and he climbed through and it led to two rooms that we had no idea existed. So then we found out that those two rooms connect to my brother's closet and we had no idea. We took the shelves off and there's this really loose wall. So we used a hanger to open it. The door was unlocked. So this is the first room and this is the second room and that's the hole. The guy covered the floors with bleach because there's dirt and blood, so I'm not gonna go in, but yeah. It gets even weirder, so like for part two. After hiking for about two hours with no cell reception and in the middle of a storm, I had finally found the mine. This place is definitely top five scariest things I've ever seen. I did the logical thing, grabbed my little handy dandy flashlight thingy, and I climbed inside even though it said not to. Keep in mind, I'm completely alone and haven't had cell reception for two hours at this point. I heard some weird noises coming from way, way down the mine, but I figured it was just probably like the rocks or something. The graffiti on these old support beams, as you can see, kind of made me a little bit paranoid. It just said a bunch of really creepy stuff like watch your back, shame, and there was even 666 with upside down crosses. That's a good sign, right? As I got further, I found where I was hearing the noises and the cave opened up way bigger than it was before. There was a small creek running through the middle, so I decided I was going to follow the creek and see where it led. Come back and I'll show you the final part. Like to be spooked, listen! Rando Nodding. It's an app you download, it's called Rando Knot. What is it? Rando Knot gives you QRPs, quantum random points. What are quantum random points, bitch? Let me explain that to you. Quantum random points are high points of energy and power near you. Attractors have a lot of energy, voids don't have as much, so if you really want to get spooked, you go to attractors. This app gives you the location of attractors and voids, and then you go. There is an entire subreddit where people explain the weird stuff that happens at these points. People report paranormal activity, leaving the simulation or reality, feeling like you're tripping on drugs, spiritual awakening. But the number one thing reported that they- Hey, uh, something traumatic happened that changed my life, check. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, oh my god! That's a spy! Ruby! 
We are at the Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada. It is said to be the scariest motel in America with a cemetery right there. We'll see. Okay, so this random nodding app just brought us to this creepy town. And honestly, when we saw this, we should have turned around and left. We continued up the mountain though, and there's always abandoned cars and nobody around. At this point, we're definitely trespassing. We couldn't even really turn around at this point because the road was so narrow and it was such a steep drop off on the other side. But we were kind of intrigued at how creepy this was, even though it was getting dark really quick. And next thing we know, the sun had gone down and the moon came out, giving it just more of a creepy vibe. But we had the pin pulled up. We were so close to it. And this what happened. the fuck is how to explain this we're the only ones around and a random rock falls i think that was a sign that we should leave but we uh we kept going everything about this place was just giving me really bad vibes and when i looked into here and saw this as soon as i realized it's some sort of face we took off running i don't know what it is with this town why there's all these abandoned cars and no people and mannequins in the window Anyone, anyone lose their bag of AB blood just at the Baker Wetlands? Let me know.